you guys are going to be happy for what I have for you right now. Fox 35 in Orlando coming up with something cool. שהגיעה, שהיא שרדה את הטראומה של השיגור. השיגור הזה הוא שיגור מטלטל, הוא שיגור מאוד מאוד קשה ובעייתי, והמטרה היא לשרוד אותו, ולכן השאלה הגדולה היא האם היא תצליח לשרוד אותו. המומחים של התעשייה האווירית ושל ספייס אייל אומרים כן, היא תצליח לשרוד את השיגור הזה. עשינו את כל ההדמיות הדרושות, ואחר כך, אחרי שהיא... All right, that's the audio coming from their feed, just to let you all know. Yes, this is what you believe it is. It is a SpaceX launch. I'm being told this is the Falcon 9 launch, Port Canaveral in Florida. With this launch, Israel hopes to become the fourth country to successfully land a spacecraft on the moon. The rocket will deliver communication satellites. The window opens in just about 30 seconds. So again, SpaceX Falcon 9 launch from Port Canaveral in Florida. And, uh, or is it Cape Canaveral, not Port Canaveral? Somebody correct me here. All right, we're gonna listen in. By the way, it's Cape Canaveral, Florida, everyone. Sorry, I'm so excited. חללית הבראשית ממריאה עכשיו אל החלל בדרכה אל הירח. זה קורה כאן, כל השמיים כאן מוארים, והדין עולה, עולה, עולה מעלה. You just heard we pass through max Q. We will now throttle back up. And back engine chill. 
There you heard the call out for MVAC engine chill. This is the point in which, like I mentioned before, we start to flow the super cold liquid oxygen into the turbo pumps, bringing them down to flight temperatures. This helps us reduce the temperature difference between the liquid oxygen and the hardware. Everything looking good with stage one trajectory. Main engine cut up, cut off. <laughs> Miko one approaching now. Second engine, second stage engine has lit the gorgeous red orange glow of that nozzle. We're now at T plus three and a, three minutes and five seconds into flight. Coming up next will be fairing deployment. Now that second stage is in the vacuum of space, uh, we don't need the fairing anymore. So in order to improve our vehicle efficiency, we shed the extra weight. Let's check in on the status of the Falcon 9 booster. Bearing separation confirmed. And there you can see on the screen the deployment of bearing. Bermuda acquisition of signal. While stage two is doing its job, stage one will be coming back home to Earth, and it will also execute two burns, the first of which is the entry burn. First stage is traveling at roughly 2,300 meters per second, and this three engine burn helps to slow the stage down. The second of the stage one burns is called the landing burn. This is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly from about 250 meters per second all the way down to two meters per second in order to gently land on the drone ship. As I mentioned earlier, for this mission, first stage re-entry conditions are predicted to be the most challenging for any recovery attempt to date. It is possible that we might lose our camera feed during the landing attempt due to the drone ship's position over the horizon, but if that happens, we will bring you an update as soon as we reestablish connection. Stage one landing should occur about 25 seconds following second stage engine cutoff. The entry burn will be coming up here in about two minutes. It is T plus five minutes and 27 seconds, and we're just under a minute until the entry burn begins. Stage two on nominal trajectory. So on your left screen, you can see the first stage coming down and you'll see a bright, a bright light when the entry burn begins there. We're just about 25 seconds away from entry burn. And you can also see on your right screen the second stage. Stage one FTS is safe. Stage one entry startup. And their entry burn has begun. This should last about 18 seconds.
stage one entry burn shut down. And entry burn is complete for first stage. Next coming up at about T plus eight minutes will be a rapid series of events. This will include the first second stage engine cutoff or SECA one, the start of the landing burn followed by the first stage landing. SECA one and the landing burn will occur within four seconds of each other followed by the stage one landing shortly after that. And we are at T plus seven minutes and 22 seconds. So we're just under a minute to seek out one. Terminal guidance. Stage one entry transonic. And that second stage engine is glowing bright there. When SECO-1 starts, that engine will turn off. Stage two FTS is safe. Stage one landing startup. We have SECO-1. Stage one landing with the team. Talk about a surprise launch. A lot of you saying, hey, we didn't know that SpaceX was launching anything tonight. Well, I didn't either, but it came up quickly, and I gave it to you as fast as I could right here on News Now, which is part of Fox10Phoenix.com, because this is exactly what we do each and every day. If it's happening, if it's breaking, if it's live, we bring it right to you the second we can, and that's why we're here. So, all right, looks like they might be. They said they were going to leave up a graphic, but... We're just a few minutes away from Fox 10 Extra News at 7, Channel 45, Cable 9. So I'm going to show you New York City yet again. And when and if they come back with that launch broadcast, we'll go back to it if I'm capable of it. Because remember, I have to go live twice in the 7 o'clock show from right here on the News Now set. So again, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. I've already clipped the liftoff by itself. Now I'm going to clip the entire launch, and you can share it with your friends, your family, your coworkers, your neighbors, everybody.